Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. I'll be on vacation this week, so let's skip the long introduction and get straight to the point. In our last video, we looked at how you can embed the UI of Reaper stock plugins in the track control panel and the mix control panel. While Reaper doesn't offer the option to fully embed the UI of third-party plugins, there are still a few options to allow you to have easier access to the controls for your favorite plugins. Let's take a look. The project I've got open is the same one from last time. It's the work in progress for a theme song for the channel. As I said previously, this was a quick composition, so the playing is quite sloppy, but it works for now. For the bass tone, I'm using Duality EX from Audio Assault, and it sounds a little something like this. That tone sounds pretty good to my ear, but you could probably tell that my playing was not that even. To correct that, I used an 1176 style compressor plugin from IK Multimedia to help smooth out the playing a bit. Let's take a look at Black 76. The plugin's currently bypassed. I'll play through that same section again and engage the plugin and see if you can hear the difference. That sounds a lot better to me, but I could still stand to finesse the controls a little bit. Needless to say, that can be done right here in the user interface, but what if there were a way to embed these controls into the track control panel to give me easier access without having to have this large overlay? There's a few different ways that we can accomplish this. I can click the param button in the top right of the interface, and that shows a submenu. We can see the first line in that submenu shows last touched bypass, and that means that the last parameter that I adjusted inside of the plugin is the bypass function. At this point, the next few options in the menu are tied to the last touch parameter. I can choose Show in Track Controls, and that will allow the Bypass control to show up in the Track Control panel. But an option that you may find more useful, particularly if you'd like more controls, is the Effects Parameter List. When I hover over Effects Parameter List, that gives me another submenu, and I have this option Show in Track Controls. Mousing over Show in Track Controls exposes all of the controls that are available in the plugin. If I'd like to have quick access to input gain, I can place a check there. And we can see that the input gain now shows in my track control panel. I can left click and drag to adjust this parameter, or I can simply mouse over and use the mouse wheel to control the parameter. I'll use my mouse wheel to adjust this and we should see the parameter changing in the plugin UI. If I'd like to add another control, I can go back to param, effects parameter list, show in track controls, and check mark another option. Let's add ratio. Now I've got input gain and ratio right here in my track control panel. It can be a little bit tedious if you'd like to add several controls, but it's nice to have the option to pick and choose what you'd like to have in the track control panel. Let's close the plugin interface and take a look at another method. I can right click TR5 Black 76 in the effects list, and in the sub menu I have the same option show effects parameters in panel. If I'd like, I can simply choose the option All Parameters, and I now have all the controls for that plugin right here in the Track Control Panel. This makes it very easy for me to control all of these parameters without having to have this larger interface on screen. I can change my Ratio, Output Gain, Input Gain, Attack and Release Times, I can bypass the plugin, and there are a few other options in here that are specific to Reaper and not necessarily a part of the plugin itself. I can adjust the wet dry parameter and you should see that changing in the top right corner of the plugin interface. And I can also engage Delta Solo. Delta Solo allows you to hear what changes a plugin is making to a sound. So if I engage this on a compressor, for example, I should only hear the gain reduction. Let's give it a try. That feature is pretty handy because it allows me to set the controls of the compressor and hear exactly what it's doing. And what's really nice about this option to embed controls is the fact that it works on any plugin, not just Reaper stock plugins. I hope this helps. If you like the content you've been seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee, I Like Coffee, or Super Thanks link below. Membership is now available for the channel as well. If you have some ideas for exclusive member content that you'd like to see, be sure to leave a comment. Visit us on Discord and engage with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time.
Gotta start this vacation somehow.